So the May Bank holiday is upon us and that can mean only one thing. It is time for parties galore, festivals, outdoor gigs and loads of big summer tunes. And loads of dancing. Now in this show, if you love your raving, you're going to love part two of the guide as the guide goes dance crazy. We look ahead to two big, yeah. big, huge events happening very soon. Uh, as well, music from one of our favourite bands, Shimona, and the guide listings are a dance special this yes, week. Yes, they are. It's going to be a big one. And for all of that, we are here at Circo in the Albert Dock after a massive refurb to bring you your show for your city. Should we do it? Yes. It's a busy one. Do it. This is The Guide with Jay and Ellie on Bait TV Liverpool. Hello you, welcome back to The Guide with Jane Ellie here on Bay TV Liverpool. Yeah, this week we are at Circo on the Albert Dock after a massive reverb and it's looking really snazzy in here. It's looking really cool, looking it. really funky, yeah. looking very yellow I've got to say. Yeah, the problem with yellow and ginger though is they don't really go together. Uh, excuse me, yellow brings out the strawberry blonde in my hair. Works well, works well. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> yeah. uh, big show lined up for you this week. Shimona, they are back. They're a great band. Mm. They're performing for us twice in the programme. Yeah. And the music legend in Liverpool, Martin O'Shea, uh, tells us all about something big coming to the pier head Liverpool loves. Yeah, and in the second half of the show, the guide goes dance crazy. We're going to be bringing you exclusives all about house music in Liverpool. We find out all about Freeze's 10th anniversary and we go behind the scenes at Three Beat Records. As well as that, the guide listings this week are dance themes. So we talk Reminisce, we talk 05 one. Uh, and we talk Creamfields. All the good stuff. And a big dance competition. Yeah. So if you love raving and you love misbehaving, stay where you are. The Guide Part 2. The Guide goes dance crazy. It Looking does indeed. But right now, though, we need to get our first and our only musical act on for the show. These guys are amazing. They've just won out on stage 2015. We've had them on before, but we had to have them on again, didn't we? I've got to say, this song is my favourite song ever by a Liverpool artist. It's called Just Like You, and this is Shimona. Like you, a light, a shade of age across your face can make you new, and it's looking just like you with your weapons out of mine and down. I'm standing in your shoes, I'm in your shoes. Keep me bound 
Like fireflies Spin me around And your way Has to be What you say Is killing me And your way Has to be What you say It's killing me. Ooh. Tell you yeah. what, that is why that song is my favourite song ever is by it? a local artist. That's true, right. that though, boys. I love that tune. It's brilliant. Nice one, Just like you, it's called, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Who's it about? That's the big question. Mm. <laughs> just like you. I think um, we wrote that song just not with anyone in particular in mind, but just. With the view of like, I think we had this image of like a girl who's maybe down on the look, maybe got like. What? What? <laughs> Why am I getting all the views? The next thing I was gonna say was a drug addiction, so I hope not. Let's not go there. Let's not go there. <laughs> But we had to get you guys back on the show. We've had you on before, but you've just won Out On Stage 2015, which is massive. Huge congratulations. Um, but how does it feel? Because the, the standard of artists that were not only in the finals, but in the entire competition was, was mega. And yeah, you guys won the whole thing. So how do you feel about that? We were over the moon, literally over the moon. And the bands were great. They were fantastic. And they were lovely people as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was a great night, wasn't it? I really nice. The standard, I mean, every you're waiting for a a bit of a dud to come on, give you a bit of confidence in every man. You go, oh my, there's no chance, you got no chance, look at all these. Yeah. But the thing is, now the hard work proper starts, because the prize, you're headlining <laughs> Liverpool Pride, uh, you've got a big slot at Liverpool Loves, which we're going to talk about in just a second with Martin O'Shea. You've got a big slot at Lymph, and you're <laughs> now playing the Anthony Walker Foundation Memorial Concert, which is 10 years since, since Anthony was killed, which is going to be a great gig on the 1st of August. You're chocker busy, you're non-stop. <laughs> That's it, isn't it? I think um, it was, it was so hard to get on those kinds mm. of festivals, yeah. so to just to have your slot, and obviously we're proud to be headlining, and we just can't wait to get going, can we? Really? So you're going to see Shimona work. on like, the line of posters <laughs> everywhere, it's going to look great. Yeah, like you say, hard work, but... It's not as work if you enjoy it, is it? So exactly. I think two of the festivals are on the same day, aren't they? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So, yeah. so you need to be like proper musos and be like, we want a car to pick us up and you know be waiting for us outside. Yeah, the, the diva trailer. stops will start soon. Yeah. <laughs> is that enough? Eh? Ellie will give you a lift, yeah. And yeah. you do not want to get in a car with me. Let's be honest, no one needs that in their lives. Uh, but if people can't make it to festivals, which they hope they can do because they're going to be amazing, how can they hear more of you guys online? Yeah, we've got we're on Twitter, Facebook, the Shimo at Shimona95 for the Twitter. Yep. Shimona Band on Facebook. We're on SoundCloud, iTunes, Instagram. Spotify. Think so Instagram. you're not only taking over festivals, you're taking over social media <laughs> as well. Basically. We've got yeah. tons of music on there. We're going to play. Should we play a little clip oh, of definitely. another video before we chat to Martin? Just pick one of your songs and we'll play 30 seconds of it now. Uh, come and go. Come and go. Come Let's and hear go. that. Shimona, thanks for coming on. You're on the show at the end of the show. Well, you're on the programme at the end of the show a little bit later, yeah, doing I'll a big dancing mashup. Looking forward to that. <laughs> Shimona on the guide. You're rocking my world, you gotta let me know The feelings I hold, they come and go You're rocking my world, you gotta let me know The feelings I hold, they come and go Cannot get enough of those boys. Shimona will also be with us at the end of the show, playing us a big mashup. So stay with us for that. Looking forward to that. But looking forward to chatting to this gent, yeah. um, a bit of a legend Ooh. in Liverpool in the music industry. <laughs> this is the man uh, that co-founded the Kittens, looked after them for a long, long time. Found a lot of big music acts uh, through bowl management. It's Martin O'Shea. How Hello. are we? All right, thanks. How are you? I'm good. It's good to have you on the show, mate. Thank and you. You've got something huge coming up this summer with Liverpool Loves. Yeah, we're um, working with uh, Debbie, Orb and Josh, who, who uh, asked us to um, help them to um, deliver the inaugural Liverpool Loves Festival. So I was absolutely delighted to, to do it. I think we, we try and do one big event every year if we can in some way and, and, and I never know what it's going to be and I'm always excited by it and this one gives us an opportunity to do 
ever, you know, right across the board of what we're, what we're, we're, um, we're doing at the moment within Bold, really, apart from the TV side of stuff. So we've got the Liverpool Loves Ireland on the Friday night, and then we've got Liverpool Loves Boxing on the Saturday, all day uh, from 11 till 4, and then uh, we've got all day on the Saturday as well. We've got about 20 brand new uh, bands and artists. Um, so Liverpool loves new music. Yeah. It's a big, big festival. Liverpool loves it. If you don't know, we spoke about this on the show before. Uh, second weekend in August, taking over the pier head. Yeah. And, and it's celebrating everything local. Everything it's 6th, 7th, 8th August. So yeah. our event's on the night of the 7th, which is in the big top. Yeah. So there's a bespoke uh, tent which will hold about 1,000 people. Um, and this is for the Friday night event? This is where we've got the Friday night and the boxing is in there as well. Wow. So there are 10 amateur fights on the Saturday and a chance to meet the boxers from Everton Red Triangle and other, I think there'll be other people there as well. Yeah. So they're going to talk about you know, the fitness regime and the training and then there's going to be the, you know, the uh, demonstration bouts and so on. I'll have to get you in the ring, Jay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, me and you. Me but you. tell us more about the Friday night particularly because you're in charge of this and it's Liverpool Loves Ireland, isn't yeah. it? Well, uh, when they realised what they had there with the big top and and, um, and realised that there was nothing in there on the Friday night, and when I said to Debbie, look, should we do like Liverpool Loves Ireland? Because I'm an O'Shea, obviously, but I grew up on on traditional Irish music and absolutely love it. And my family are, are all in, well, not all, but a lot of them are in quite successful Irish bands. Yeah. So um, one of those bands is Cream of the Barley, who were at Flanagan's for, God knows, 20 yeah. years. And we used to see them all the time there. It was always packed. It was always a fantastic party. And, uh, and I realised they hadn't actually done anything um, out there in Liverpool for, for 10 years or so, I think. Wow. So, so you're bringing them back together. So the original lineup back together, Crazy. plus some special guests doing all the songs that everyone's going to know. Uh, it's not a political thing. It's just to celebrate the fact that I think um, probably in some way or other, 80, 90% of this yeah. city is connected to Irish. Ireland, yeah. yeah. So, and was there going to be Guinness? That's the big question. There'll be lots of Guinness. Lots of Guinness. <laughs> that's Guinness yeah. And really quickly, we're running out of time. We're looking for an Irish comedian. Yeah, Someone who's possibly we're, local. We're going to, to lighten the load in there. We've got Eleanor McAvoy, who's, the, uh, who's got the biggest selling album in Irish uh, chart Incredible. history. She's amazing. And we've got some great um, supporting acts for that. And we've got some really good little surprises. Mm. But we need, we're, I would try and give an opportunity to somebody to get up and steal, steal the show for two, five, ten minutes. That's so great. we're looking for a young, cheeky comic who. It doesn't have to be Irish because we're all in that way. We're here, aren't we? So, um, but that's what we're kind of out there looking for. So get online now. The guide at baytvliverpool.com is our email address. The guide at baytvliverpool.com, uh, and we'll forward them emails to you. Fingers crossed. Thank you you find it. It's going to be a great, great Thank weekend. We're looking forward to it. The dates really quickly again, Mark. It's the sixth, seventh, and eighth. So the, the entertainment mainly is on the night of the seventh, and you can go online to Ticket Quarter to have a look for the details on the show, and then all day on the eighth in the tent with the boxing on the main stage with about 20 new bands. Bill, really looking forward to it. Liverpool loves Martin. We'll Thank chat you to you beforehand. Yes, we will. Um, but stay with us because after the break, we are back with a bit of a dance special here on The Guide. So stay with us for that, as well as that, of course, the competition and The Guide listings and more music from Shimona. See you soon. Welcome back to The Guide with Jay and Ellie right here on Bay TV Liverpool. If you just joined us, you've missed loads. 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 But don't worry. Nope. Do not worry. We it's have okay. got our own YouTube channel, uh, Bay TV Liverpool. Look for us on YouTube. In fact, we've just tweeted the links uh, where you can watch all of our shows again. But the second half of this show is dedicated to something we love oh, yeah. in Liverpool. We've never done it before. Yep. This half of the show is dedicated to dance music. Yes, we love dance and there's so much of it in Liverpool, not just the music, but also big events. So this week's guide listings are dedicated to dance music and we've got so much going up. We, we certainly have. This Sunday, end of an era, the 051, it's their last supper. Mm. DJ Lee Butler and the gang say goodbye to the Super Club. Now I'd love to say I remember a lot about the 051, <laughs> but I can't because I'm a sense. Shock. Shock. Yeah, <laughs> but I've had some great times there. It's an amazing place, the last supper this weekend. Also, uh, next weekend, mm. uh, Youssef, he's yeah. playing the East Village Arts Club, part of Circus. Yes, it is indeed. And something I think you'll like, uh, happening at Amanzi on the 31st of May, is a Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Wow. <laughs> it's organised by Secret Fantasy Events, and DJ Robert Partland is taking to the decks to get everyone in the mood for a great Sunday night. Something else that's happening that's a bit different is called uh, from Fiesta Bombardia, and it's their third birthday is on the 5th and 6th of June and they take over loads of different venues in the city and move around um, like the cathedral, Sefton Park Farmhouse, yeah and it's basically one big dance field carnival. Okay if you love your classic dance tunes do not 
miss the second year they've done this Reminisce Festival is back we've just tweeted the lineup at the Guide Bay TV everyone from Lasgo yeah, Entrance it's huge check that out and also Greenfields is back Glow Sticks at Bigger the ready better. Bank Holiday August weekend August Bank Holiday weekend yes. uh, Avicii the Chemical Brothers both headlining plus a host of dance legends yes. do not miss it and something we have to mention it's happening this Saturday it's Club Freeze's 10th anniversary it's happening at the Bombs Out Church so we sent Jay down to meet some DJ legends and find out all about it. I am buzzing right now. I'm with two two legends of dance, really, in the northwest and the UK, in the world. Uh, Greg <laughs> Wilson and, and Derek Kay here at, at this beautiful location, uh, which in a few days' time you're you're going to be playing the decks just just behind us, Derek, sure. for freeze. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can't wait. Did it last summer. Um, it was possibly, in fact, definitely my my favourite gig of the whole year last mm. year. Um, it ended up throwing it down with rain, which just added to the atmosphere, the whole ambience of the building. It's just a great place to play. It's it really just, good. I can just imagine it, I can just feel like the um, the passion and the, the love in here, because the people that come to Freeze, it's a great vibe, isn't it? It's a yeah, great it's, atmosphere. It's, it's almost like a family kind of vibe, yeah. I think, the Freeze events. Uh, I've done a few Freeze events and you get a lot of the same, uh, like a nucleus, a core of Freeze goers, if you like. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's like a, um, just like, yeah, great family. Uh, see uh, those same faces. Just uh, so that's this Sunday. So we're yeah. looking forward to that. Tickets are still available for the, for this Sunday, and then yeah. June thirteenth, Greg, mm -hmm. complete sellout. Yeah. Uh, but we have got tickets to give away on the show for this very soon. Yeah. Details on that shortly. Be for them. Yeah, <laughs> looking forward to giving. And it sold out in. He said like about ten hours. It sold wow. out on the first day. Todd Terrier's playing. Um, he hasn't been to Liverpool for a long time. And they were keen to, to, to get him down. They tried last year. Just just let's touch on dance music in Liverpool because mm -hmm. it's something that we don't do enough of on this show is, is talk about dance music. It's huge in this city. People mm -hmm. love it. All sorts of genres of dance. Uh, why is it so big? Why do we love it so much? Well, I mean, dance culture in Liverpool, you, you can take it back to, you know, the, the early 60s and the, the Mersey Beat era. It, it's a period where, you know, uh, American rhythm and blues was, was being played in British clubs, not just in Liverpool, but other places, but Liverpool being a port city had a special affinity to that. So it, it's always been connected in that way and it's had its different periods of time. I think it, it's like cities like Liverpool and Manchester, you know, obviously London is always going to be consistent because it's this huge sprawling metropolis and mm. everything's going on there. So there's always 500 people that you can put into some kind of subgenre of music. Whereas I think with places like Liverpool and Manchester, it goes in cycles. Uh, that they have particular periods where everything's happening culturally going on in the city and then they have all the law periods and it's by nature. I think Liverpool has, has come into a cycle now very self-confident. The city's regenerated. I mean, I remember what it was like in the 80s and it was on its knees, you know, it was depopulating, it was almost bankrupt and, um, and now we're a, a situation whereby, you know, as I say, there's a real confidence again in the city, the Baltic Triangle. Um, and the artistic community that's developed around there and things like the freeze events and, and all of a sudden you, you know you're seeing people traveling into Liverpool. Yeah. Big thank you to Derek and Greg. Uh, so from the bombed out church we've come down the road to Slater Street because we are at 3B and I'm joined by Jemmy. Jemmy you are one of the owners of 3B so give us a brief history. Uh, right, basically it started in, well, 3B, as it was formerly Former. known. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> started in 1989, I think. Um, run until about 2000 and... For a long time. 2009, yeah. I think. And then we bought it in 2010. And you got it. And we changed the names to 3B Records and then... Did you, did, was that yeah. a, a decisive move? You are like, right... Well, they wanted to focus on the label and we kind of, I knew, was going to let it go. Yeah. We decided, no, we didn't want to because it's like, this is our passion and everything, yeah. so... So no, we'll um, we'll keep it going. So there is the label as well, um, but mm. the record shop here itself, and it's not, it's so much more than a record shop, isn't it? There's yeah, so much that goes on. Yeah, here. it's like a hub, I suppose. It's kind of like everything that kind of that's good. Love people dance music. Yeah, everyone place. comes here because you want to sell tickets, yeah. all the events, and you do warm up gigs here, don't you? Yeah, Tell us a bit about those. They're like in stores for for album launches, for pre parties. Yeah. Um, we have, everyone's been here, like Carl Cox was here on Sunday. That's crazy. Fortet, Carl Craig, John Digweed, Sasha. 3B is a hub of music and dance music. Mm. And you yourself, you're a DJ, aren't you? Yeah, I am. And you're involved with Freeze and yeah. Cream. So tell us about you as a DJ then. Um, well, DJing wise, I started playing for Freeze when he did that first party in the cathedral. Yeah. 
with Nick Warren and no, what? Well, sorry, it was Helen Cataneo and Danny Hals. That's where my relationship. I've been friends with them for a long, long time before that, but um, that's when I kind of started playing for Freeze. Um, and yeah, I'm just I'm really good friends with them, and and, I've, and I started making tunes a few years ago. Um, started off with a release on Bedrock. Yeah. Now my latest singles on your music. Your latest single. Which is Which here. means right here, just by chance. Yeah. Your latest single, available in store right here at 3B, isn't it? Yeah, come get it. <laughs> so, um, right here at 3B, it is a hub of music, so if you want to get any vinyl, because that's what you sell here as well, mm -hmm. uh, then come on down. Jamie, thank you so much for chatting to us. Very welcome. Tell you what, how cool is 3B Records? Oh, it looks amazing. There. Well, and yeah. to Jamie as well. Thank you for that, mate. Good little chat. Yeah, too. and thank you to the guys up at the Bombs Out Church ahead of Freeze's anniversary. And you could be there too. You certainly could. This Sunday, we've got two pairs of tickets yeah. to give away, courtesy of Skiddle. All you've got to do, go online now, at the Guide Bay TV on Twitter, at the Guide Bay TV. Retweet the tweet of us in yeah. 3B Records, but then we're <laughs> DJs, uh, to enter the competition. It could be yours. Two pairs of tickets to give away, courtesy of Skiddle. That's all we've got time for this week. Big thank you to everyone at Circo for looking after us. A big thanks to Shimona and, of course, to Martin O'Shea for chatting to us too. We'll be back next week uh, with a Sound City special. In well, fact, we've got three of them. Three of them. Three Sound City City specials. We are there every single day at this mega festival taking over Liverpool's Docklands from yep. Thursday. From Saturday night, 8 pm, check out our Sound City uh, backstage special. We'll just say amazing. we've got artists that are performing, yep. we've got live acoustic performances, we've got me probably stood at the bar oh. enjoying myself a little if bit. If you too see much. him, drag him away, please drag him away. It's going to be good. <laughs> looking forward to Sound City, but also looking forward to Freeze with Skittle this Sunday, 24th, at the Bond yeah. Out Church. From me and Ellie and everyone on the guides, we will see you Saturday, 8 pm, for our Sound City special. Take care. Very superstitious Writings on the wall Very superstitious Little about to fall A 30 month old baby I broke the looking glass Are you the one to save me? Things in your bed When you believe in things That you don't understand And you suffer A superstition ain't the way Just watch, come on.